Nika Community Media, amplifying voices of the grassroots communities. Okay, naitwa Juma Omar Zuber. Communication. Okay, vitu ambavyo vimebadilika ni kuwa naona vijana wako ndani ya mitandao ya kijamii kwa sana na vitu ambavyo viko pale ndani hawazungumzi vitu vya maana umeshaona yani hawaitumi mitandao ya kijamii kwa njia inayofaa ama mwafaka sasa pengine urudie swali kwa kuna wakijihusisha sana kwa mambo na mashirika ama katika njia za kutaka kujua talent zao ziko wapi wao wenyewe wanaweza ku, ku sustain maisha yao umeshaona kuliko kuka bure bure tu mitaani kwa sababu wanaweza ku cause lot of uh, uh, chaos umeshaona yeah, unadhani mwananchi wa kawaida anaielewa hii Mombasa <coughs> county CV action sio wote mm. yeah kwa sababu hawajihusishi hata kuingia katika mitandao ya kijamii pia kujaribu ku Google na kujaribu kufanya research kuangalia hawajihusishi sana sana utakuta wale wale watu ambao yani walikuwa kwa wamehusishwa kuenda wao wao ndo watakwenda lakini wale wengine ambao yani hawapati information hawafiki kule yani kutaka kusik ile information yeah wewe kama msana no. Uh, mimi kama msanii wa kuigiza na mimi kama malenga mimi naweza sema kitu ambacho naweza fanya kwa sababu vijana wingi huwa wako katika nini wa katika mitandao ya kijamii kama nilivyotangulia kusema si ndio uh, kwa WhatsApp nini kwa wale ambao yani niko na namba zao naweza nikaika vidi status vidogo vidogo kuhusu information kadhaa umeshaona kama hiyo mambo na action plan nini Mombasa County umeshaona na pia kwa upande mwingine naweza tumia mashairi yangu mwenyewe umeshaona nikatengeza shairi na nika pass information kupitia e, kama ni Facebook ama ni status kwa WhatsApp umeona ama ni ingia Instagram ni nieke hizo short video zangu mwenyewe umeshaona kwa sababu eh, niko na account ya YouTube ambao anaitumia kwa mahasishia vijana peke yake. Naam. Okay. Kwa njia ama kwa idea zangu zile ambazo niko nazo. Mimi naona kwa njia za kuhusisha wengine ni kuwapatia fursa wale ambao yani kwa sababu kuna vijana ambao ni wana, wana info na kuna vijana ambao hawana info, sio? Wale ambao wana info basi wapati wapat, ile kama kipaumbele. Kwa sababu uwezi sema sasa hii eti wasanii wa kuigiza watasimama mbele ya umati wende wakaigize umeshaona hiyo itakuwa ni urongo si ndio njia nzuri sana ya kufanya ni ya kutafuta makongamano hata kama hiyo itakuwa social distance ndani ya hall lakini wale vijana wa kule chini mashinani wapate hii info mimi na imani yani mambo mengi sana ta yatapata mwelekeo naam mimi ni Nicolas Songora uh, coordinator for the civil society in coast region and also director Manyata Entertainment CBO Um, um, I'm, I'm privileged and I'm very grateful to this opportunity uh, being invited by Aden East Africa, one of the partner organizations working on uh, PCV, actually doing direct engagement with young people in Kenya and East Africa. Um, today you're hosting a training um, uh, focusing 
on integrating the Mombasa County Action Plan and the role of young people, especially the role of artists, uh, in uh, mitigating uh, violent extremism. Um, uh, throughout the process has been an amazing uh, session and uh, we are seeing uh, the integration on young people understanding and how they could leverage uh, in the opportunities brought by the Mombasa County Action Plan and also the implementation plan and uh, looking forward to do advocacy uh, to have more young people participate in the process. Now that the Mombasa County Action Plan is looking at uh, 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 doing a review through the Mombasa County Engagement Forum to review uh, the five years plan uh, to see where they could uh, improve or better the process. So um, we are very positive with this process and looking forward uh, to adding engagement ahead. Uh, they're going to engage these young people in more opportunities in, in terms of uh, training them on uh, 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 skill at hand, you know, video production. Uh, they're going also to train them on uh, um, uh, music production, on how they could leverage in uh, uh, social media platforms, how they could use social media uh, to engage in uh, promoting work that is uh, uh, related to prevention and uh, countering violent extremism. Uh, so kufupi, tunasema kwamba uh, shughuli ya leo imefana sana uh, kuona kwamba vijana wamepoa fursa ya kuweza kukaa pamoja uh, na kuweza uh, kupitia uh, um, ule mpangilio utekelezaji juu uh, ya vita dhidi ya itikadi potofu uh, katika agatuzi hii ya Mombasa na ni mpangilio ambao vijana kusema kweli hawajapata nafasi ya fursa kutangamana nao kuelewa zaidi kwa undani ni jukumu lao ni gani ni wapi uh, wanahusika kikamilifu tumeona kama uh, 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 mpangilio huo utekelezaji uko na uh, uh, sehemu tofauti tofauti ambao ni sehemu uh, tisa nguzo tisa uh, za, za kutoka katika ile mpangilio wa kitaifa uh, na pia kuna nguzo mbili ambazo zimeongezeka uh, katika mpangilio huo wa Mombasa kwa vijana kwa katika hizo nguzo kumi na moja uh, ni wapi wanaweza kushika ili kuweza kujaribu kufanya kazi nao pia waweze kuhesabika ya kwamba wanatekeleza mpangilio huu wa Mombasa wa kupambana na dhidi ya itikadi itikadi uh, potofu tumeona kwamba kuna nguzo kama ya usanii na utamaduni ambapo vijana wengi hapa mbele kutoka makundi ya kisanaa uh, wameweza kuifurahia zaidi kwamba hapo ni mahali ambao wanahisi wako nyumbani pia vile vile uh, kuna uh, nguzo nyingine ya masuala ya kuwezeshwa kifedha ama kwa lugha ngine tunasema economic pillar ambao pia vijana wanahisi uh, ni, ni nguzo yao muhimu kwa sababu wengi hawana ajira wanapenda kutengeza fedha ama kutengeza pato kupitia uh, kwa sanaa uh, na vile vile uh, kuna uh, pila ya usalama ambayo ni ya security ambayo pia inawafaa zaidi kama vijana uh, pila psychosocial masuala ya trauma healing pia vile vile vijana wameona kwamba inapaswa waweze kuchukua ili kusonga mbele kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana uh, shirika la East Africa kuleta mafunzo kama haya hapo mashinani na pia kuangalia mbele ni vipi vijana wanaweza uh, uh, kuchukua mafunzo haya kuweza kufikisha kule mashinani ili mradi watu wote waweze kuhusika kikamilifu shukrani uh, thank you very much. My name is Sami Gadi. I'm the director of Yaden East Africa. Uh, it's very exciting to be here in Mombasa today and uh, some of the things that we discussed uh, based on uh, the country action plan on uh, preventing and countering violent extremism and most important how to make it more accessible uh, to a larger uh, population, especially how to reach uh, young people because we've realized that the action plan is a very good document. Uh, it is a guide to how to engage and coordinate uh, CV activities uh, in different counties, but it's not reaching uh, the far uh, or the hard to reach uh, groups. And today uh, we were taken through the action plan and based on that uh, we are going to try and work with uh, artists to try and make sure that um, they articulate it in a way that uh, most people will understand and most people will take action uh, and by general make sure that um, prevention and, um, and countering violent extremism is not only for a select group but it is for everybody. Uh, the other thing is uh, we have also realized that uh, PCV or preventing and countering violent extremism uh, it's a very important issue but it's only attracting a very uh, small number of uh, stakeholders. So uh, this meeting today was also aimed at expanding that outreach. Uh, for example, uh, here in Mombasa, there's a, um, a, a big, big uh, group that works in uh, Tuk Tuk or Boda Boda sector. 
they are very important. They are very mobile. Uh, they are mostly sometimes accused of um, uh, working with uh, people who are involved in extremism uh, acts, transporting them. Uh, but themselves, they are not empowered enough to understand what violent extremism is, how they can uh, get their membership to understand and also um, uh, prevent it in their own way. So that is an important group. The other uh, group is the mobile traders, otherwise known as hawkers. They are very important. So uh, this meeting was uh, aimed at inducting these different uh, key groups on how to uh, be involved um, within the PCV sector. And uh, lastly, uh, we also realized that artists, especially grassroots based artists, uh, are very important in communication and uh, creating awareness, but they are not substantially in, uh, involved. Uh, mostly they are invited to create performances, but themselves, as a group, uh, they are not empowered on how to create content, uh, how to make follow-ups, how to do evaluations and reviews. So this meeting, again, was aimed at that. And uh, lastly, and which was also very important, is to realize that uh, we reach a very small group, and the most vulnerable uh, are not reached, uh, especially people recovering from drugs or uh, young mothers uh, or t uh, teenage mothers. They are highly vulnerable, but we have not put in mechanisms on how to reach them. So this meeting, again, uh, was aimed at uh, mobilizing and uh, organizing the usual uh, grassroots organizations on mechanism on how to reach those uh, hard-to-reach groups uh, and within, the co uh, within this uh, corona environment or corona um, uh, situation. Because what we have realized, and uh, this meeting was informed, is that when uh, COVID-19 or corona came, uh, the problems which people are dealing with previously do not disappear. They are still there. And actually, the meeting was informed that this meeting just, uh, this uh, issue just became more um, um, amplified. Uh, so the meeting resolved that it is important to mainstream uh, those issues, issues such as uh, violent extremism, uh, within uh, intervening on behalf of COVID-19, so that uh, we don't focus on, on COVID-19 and forget that the other issues are even uh, getting worse. So basically, it was an exciting meeting, and I'm really happy, and I'm looking forward to the follow-up, especially in terms of putting more young people on the digital platform so that they don't lose opportunities, and to, for them to use that digital platform, which is brought by, by the new... Uh, uh, corona situation and how people interact and communicate uh, so that we don't we make sure that we don't leave anybody behind thanks a lot Amica community media amplifying voices of the grassroots communities